Hi, I'm Michael Bakich, Senior Editor and Photo Editor for Astronomy Magazine. Today, I'm going to tell you about 10 things that you should know before you buy your first telescope. Number five, do some research. Before you buy your first telescope, read all you can about telescopes. A good source is, uh, of course, Astronomy Magazine. It just so happens that as I'm making this video, our May 2009 issue is on the shelf, and I've circled the article here, 25 Top Telescopes. Go inside the issue, and in just six pages, you can sample 25 telescopes. You can sample refractors, reflectors, and compound telescopes. 25 different ones all in one issue. Another thing that magazines are good for is they carry a lot of ads, telescope ads. And you can read those and read about the telescopes the manufacturers are advertising. Also, they always list their websites. So if you have access to the internet, that's a valuable tool in helping you decide what telescope you want to buy first. Number four, set up your telescope in the daytime. Now, I don't mean to observe the sun. I mean, for the first time you set up your telescope, read the instructions and set it up in the daytime where you can see how things go together. Don't make the mistake of taking your first telescope out at night to some distant location or even in your backyard and trying to set it up in the dark. It just doesn't work that well. So set it up in the daytime or in your house in a well-lit room. Number three, you get what you pay for. The telescope manufacturing industry is a competitive field. There aren't many cheap telescopes out there. Telescopes are priced according to what they do, the features that they have, and how difficult or expensive they are to make. Let me give you an example. You might think that a small refractor, only this long, should be a lot less expensive than a large reflecting telescope that, you know, might be taller than I am. The reason that may not be true is the reflector has a mirror in it, and it only needs one optical surface, the front of that mirror. So the manufacturer puts a high-quality curve on that. A lens-type telescope has a system of lenses at the front, three, sometimes even four lenses. Each of those lenses has two surfaces. So immediately, we're up to six high-quality optical surfaces. And a mirror reflects light. The, the glass in a lens-type telescope has to be optically close to perfect. Can't have striations or waves or bubbles or be imperfect in any way because you're looking through the glass rather than having light reflect off of it. So for telescopes especially, you really do get what you pay for. Number two, bigger means better. Take two telescopes, one with a two-inch mirror and one with a four-inch mirror, like this diagram shows. The two-inch mirror only gathers one quarter the light of the four-inch mirror. So if you double the size of the mirror or the lens, you quadruple the amount of light that you capture. Move it up to an 8-inch, an 8-inch captures four times the light of a 4-inch mirror and 16 times as much light as a 2-inch mirror. That's why amateur astronomers like to use larger telescopes. This next pair of diagrams shows two star fields. The first one on the left shows a star field through a 2-inch telescope, and you see several dozen stars. But the one on the right through a 4-inch telescope shows more stars larger telescopes capture more light. It's like going outside in a rain where you're using a, uh, a thimble and a coffee cup. Because the coffee cup is bigger, it's going to catch more rain. Larger telescopes catch more light. Also, larger telescopes help you re resolve smaller details. Okay, so bigger telescopes are better because they capture more light, and the resolution that they provide is a lot better. And the number one thing you should know before you choose your first telescope, pick a telescope that you'll use. And here's what I mean by that. 
you can spend hundreds or thousands of dollars getting just a great telescope, a great drive, a great tripod. But if it's too big to carry, if it's too big to transport, you may only use it two or three times a year. Whereas if you buy a smaller telescope, you might use it a lot more. You might use it once a week or more. I'm not saying that you should just buy a small telescope. I'm saying think of where you're going to use it, how you're going to use it, and where you'll have to transport it to before you buy. Now, if you have an idea of setting up a permanent observatory, maybe in your backyard, well, you can go nuts. I mean, you can buy the biggest telescope you want, and it'll always be there, ready to go, waiting for you as soon as you open the door and pull back the roof. It'll be ready to go. But the number one thing about telescopes is pick one that you'll use. And when I say use, I mean use a lot. I'm Michael Bakich. Thanks for watching. For more information about telescopes, visit our website at www.astronomy.com. Thanks for watching.